Hello my friends, I am totally dubbed and today I make you video on Darky Rom V11 Black Edition. This is sponsored by Call of Duty and Battlefield 3. Anyway, right, so um, today I'm flashing over uh, Darky Rom V11. Um, so it's a pretty simple, um, straightforward procedure. As you can see at the moment, I'm on a stock ROM. I'm on JW4, and I've got Semaphore kernel 2.7.4 on that. So it's a JW4 uh, ROM. And in my internal SD card, um, I have got my backup, my titanium backup of my apps. I've got um, Darky ROM V11, and I've got the latest uh, Cyanogen mod. Uh, 9 uh, nightly. You can find that in the opening post on Darky ROM. Uh, just click on it and it will take you directly to the link. Here I'll show you. Here it is. That's the that's the place. And here you can see there's a link. And you go there. And that's the latest one. The top one is the latest one always. So um, I you should click that and download it. And once you've downloaded it, then you'll end up with those two files that you saw in my internal SD card. Now. Um, Flashing Cyanogen mod is uh, needed if you're on a, um, a stock ROM, for example, uh, or if you're not on an ice cream sandwich ROM already. For example, if you're on Slim ICS or AOKP, then you won't really need to do this step. But if you want to do it, then you might as well. Um, but um, you, you can skip that step and go and flash the ROM directly. But I'm doing this a complete uh, flashing video so that um, this covers everyone and anyone. So what we're going to do is enter recovery. We do that with up, home and power. Wait for it to buzz, right? Now hold down the three buttons and you should go into recovery. So as you can see, uh, as I had semaphore kernel, I have got recovery and it's clockwork recovery. So what we're going to do is install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and CM9. Right, so as you can see, the phone is boot looping, trying to install clockwork, um, trying to install via clockwork recovery, and CM9 is boot looping. This is normal, as you can see. So all you want to do is hold down the recovery again. Just hold it down until the phone switches off, like so. So as you can see, now we're in recovery. We've re-entered recovery, but this time it's uh, the CM-based one. So um, this is completely normal. So we got into we got out of the boot loop by going into recovery again. And so now we're going to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and reinstall CM9. However, this time it will complete properly. Right, so as you can see, it's finished. So we can go back and we can reboot system now. And now just let the phone reboot. It might take some time, uh, sometimes over five, 10 minutes, but just give it some time. As long as it's not boot looping, it's completely fine. Right, as you can see, it's booted up. So now we can go straight into recovery ignore the French language, that's because of my SIM card so now we've entered recovery and what we want to do is wipe data factory reset wipe cache partition and go and wipe Dalvik cache now install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and Darky ROM v11. Right, now we go back, and we go into mounts and storage, and we're going to mount most of these, so a mount system, mount data data, mount data, mount EEMC, that's my external SD card. You don't have to mount USB storage, that's for connecting up to the uh, <coughs> up to the PC. Go back and reboot system now. Here's a cool boot animation. And here we go, the ROM is booted up. First of all, I'll go change the language.
as you can see the languages included Dutch, English, English, Espanol, Francais and Italiano you've got the Android keyboard let's turn on Wi-Fi sure it works as you can see we have cookies is there and now I'm connected to Wi-Fi let's check the internet there you go just make sure it as you can see the search works and now I shall turn off Wi-Fi increase the brightness and do this on 3G as you can see obviously that 3G is working as well everything's working good right I'll now go to about phone and here you can see Darky ROM V11 Black Edition baseband JVT which is actually quite a good modem to be on. Good job uh, Darky for choosing that one. And we're on Semaphore ICS 1.25S uh, um, which again is a good choice if you ask me. And we've got Voodoo Sound as you can see there. Pre-installed apps got Apollo music player, you got DSP manager, you got camera, you got the browser obviously, dev tools, ES file explorer, screen filter. Let's try to load the widgets. You got semaphore super user into the widgets. There we go. There is this issue of having a little black screen on the edge, but that's because of the wallpaper. Let's go via the gallery. And now, as you can see, there's no more black line because we have a full sized wallpaper. Here's a lock screen, you've got camera and you've got unlock, screen unlocks, you've got slide, you've got pattern, pin, password. So there you go guys, I hope you've enjoyed this guide. Um, please do rate, comment and subscribe. And uh, yeah, definitely check out the post on uh, Darky Rom, and um, there should be more information there. So if you've got any questions, do post them over there because it's the best place that uh, uh, we can help you. Alright guys, take care. Totally dubbed out. Bye-bye.